Dean, a heartbreaking end to what's been an amazing season for this football club. Yeah, tough to take. I thought we performed to a good level, to be fair. I thought we had a lot of entries in the first 20 minutes. The glorious chance were Potter at the back post. Um, and really, probably with their first real attempt on a goal, they've scored. I think it was the 18th minute, was that right? Around the 18th minute. So, um, yeah, and to be honest with you, not enough of our players in the first half come to the party. Um, they know that, I told them at half time. And you can't give a team like Boreham Wood the two goal start uh, because they've got a brilliant defensive record. They're defensively organised excellently. So, um, And then from our point of view, the goal sort of on half time as well is a real kick in the teeth right on half time. Um, so, yeah, look, there's some full credit to Boreham Wood. They've done a job on us in the end, but we had, I think we had enough chances to sort of win the game. But it's not about that in the, in, in the playoffs. You need a little bit of luck, a little bit of rub of the green, and we've got, we should have defended better in the first half for the two goals we conceded. Oh, you say it was a real kick in the teeth to concede that second one right on the edge of half time. The guy, the, the players really came out in the second, early in that second half. What was the message to them at half time? Well, the next goal is crucial in a two goal game um, when you're 2 0 down. So, and it's it changed the game. It'll have put the game to bed or it'll give us a lift. Um, I thought in the first 15, 20 minutes, I thought we were really good. I have to be honest with you. I thought we you were know, on the front foot. Our tempo was good. But plenty of corners, plenty of entries into the box. I said I thought we had the best chance and even at the end there we had a chance with Laurie had a chance. Uh, looks like it was going in. So look we've got to do a little bit better. We've come up short in that department quite a bit to be fair. Um, even in in the trophy in key key games, you know, we haven't done well enough. Obviously you said you've mentioned on Saturday about luck in the playoffs and those ch chances. Another day Idris in the first half, an excellent save from Ashmore as well. It just wasn't our day today. That's what happens. It's as simple as that. We thought we were going to get a bit of drama at the end, they get an equaliser, we didn't. So, look, we've got a long time to think about this now and where we're going to, what we've got to do for next season. So, I already know who we want to bring in and that'll start literally in the next 48 hours. We'll have a couple of days off and we'll get straight on recruiting for the summer for, ne uh, for next season. And what will be your message to the group going in after, obviously, a disappointing today, but a really great season for the group? Just come up short. So my job is to make sure next season it doesn't come up short. Um, they should be proud of themselves in a lot of ways, but you know I want to create a winner mentality here, a real winner mentality. And um, at the end of the day, we haven't had the killer winner mentality tonight. And, uh, and we didn't in, in the trophy semi-final either. So we've only got ourselves to blame, really. So we've got to look at ourselves. I'm always humble in defeat. I've got to congratulate Paul and Wood. You know, they did a good, good job on us, causing the counter attack several times in the first half, later in the first half, and obviously hurt us with that. Um, so, yeah, look, we've got to improve in the summer, and uh, that'll be my job to do that. Um, finally, we had a big attendance here today. There's been a lot of fa Barnet fans that have travelled home and away, up and down this country following the team this season. What's your message to them? I want to thank them. Um, you know, thank them so much. Look, we've created this together in this. We gave the football club a bit of stability in the last, obviously it's, it's bit, it was unstable before we got here, so we've done that. The next job now is can we make, uh, take the next step and, and create real success. So uh, that's going to be the plan obviously in the coming weeks um, and coming months and then we'll just go again. We're back in on the, we're back in June 26th for pre-season and I just think it's important to like, but we appreciate that support. You heard the, uh, the stand innovation they gave us at the end, they can see we gave our all but we've come up short so um, I want to thank them for everything they've done and uh, it'll be on to uh, a new season and uh, we have to get over this really quick but you, this, these are the kind of things that make you stronger so uh, hopefully we'll be a stronger team next year. Dean, thank you for your time.